Hey everyone, this is Ronnie Gobu, and welcome to the Factions PvP Scaven to the Flag event highlight video. In this event, players were pitted against each other to race to flags around the world. Four flags, four key items located at each flag. Once a player gets all four keys, he can race to the winning platform for a spot to get some excellent prizes. But as usual in PvP, there are some obstacles. As soon as the match started, players raced for the portals. Some of them went for the flags, running on all four corners of the earth. While most players were out fighting to get the four different keys that are required to enter the winning area, a couple players skipped to the ending platform and defended it the whole time. Although their strategy was good and their teamwork skills were even better, this is a difficult tower to defend because of all the holes. All it takes is one well-placed shot and you can be flown off into oblivion. They had a really good strategy in waiting at the end to try and steal other players' keys off of them by killing them. A couple times, <laughs> it didn't work out so well for them. There were other times when other teamed groups worked together to try and overtake the tower. In this battle, General and Prodigy both have enough keys to finish the game, and they're trying to get up there, but Poons happens to jump down, and it's a three on two. Who's gonna win? They, they die, though. So that General's getting beat up. Prodigy's gonna try and do the parkour, which is a dangerous thing. He only needs to get hit once and he's out. I want, are he in general allied? Yes. They are. General's just getting shot. Oh, but it looks like somebody else down here is invis, helping out. General. Did Prod make it up? General's gonna lose his armor soon. He's pretty outnumbered. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. And Prod is, he can't even do anything, he's lagging so bad. Oh, poor Prod. And there's an Invis guy standing here too, somewhere. Yep, I, I see him. This is gonna be in one of those armor break matches. Yeah, it is. It's a cool one, too. Dang. I gotta make sure I stay out of arrow fire <laughs> coming from invis guys everywhere. Or Beezy's up there shooting a bow, he's probably hurting. There's an invis guy, yeah. Shooting arrows, too. Yep. Yeah, they're just outnumbered. It's like five versus two. General might have backup armor. Making someone use God Apple. Dang, this is so intense. <laughs> oh, oh. Out of oh general. general. General lost it. And it looks like three on one with Prodigy. I wonder oh. if anybody's sneaking up. Prodigy knocked off a, a helmet. He's taking a god, god apple. I'm, I'm impressed Prodigy is lasting this long. Oh, well, he was lagging the first half of the fight. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Prodigy lost his helmet. He's gonna die. Akarimu lost his helmet as well, though. I mean, somebody invis could be going up there right now. What were the items that were... Um... Um, they're all different colored clay. So okay. if you look at those magenta clay blocks, those are the keys. Yeah. Magenta, orange, light blue, and red. I mean, they're actually there's one of each color key right there, just yeah, waiting to get picked up. The People, they just left them. Oh, this, this battle down here is still going on. Yep. 
I can't even tell who's fighting too. Oh, it's it's Strange Martin. Oh wow! Pollinator was killed by Strange Martin. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Two verse one. Oh, he's got to run. God apple. You just say the God apple. Yep, I saw that. And then this guy could come pick up some good stuff. I mean, these events are a great place for new players to just hang around invisible. They can, <laughs> they can pick off the, the really good items that are left behind by these these good players, even if they don't participate in. Oh, that was some good tactics right there. If I were them, I'd throw down a dog. There was a regular god apple, I think. Oh, Akaramu just lost a helmet. Someone, and boots. Like Lost helmet and boots. Oh, someone invis. I wonder whose team he's on. Oh. Strange Martin's getting punted out into the water. That's pretty smart by my eye, Caramel. That's a good shot. It's a good tactic. <laughs> He's aiming at an invis guy now. Oh, Stefan died. Got nabbed invis. Martin's got to come back and. Ooh. Man, he Maybe. survived that. I'm very surprised. He lost his boots. He, he's only got two pieces of P4. He's got to be very low from that fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just nailed that the chicken. <laughs> oh, Fatty Snipes did. Oh, an Invis guy is chasing I Karamu. There's a lot going on around this thing. There is. Poonslayers had it in the beginning. I thought they were going to hold it the whole time, but it looks like they're getting broken up. Well, BZ's still up there. Yeah, but Strange Martin could knock him down. Somebody spawned a wither. No way. Oh, man. That's that's a game changer right there. Oh, what's yeah, who did that? Yep. Now he's shooting it. It's almost at, Yep, it's down to half health. Now he's just gotta axe it away. That wither is gonna die. And it's gone. And whoever it was. Just got another star. Nice. <laughs> Good work. Okay, it's getting down to the end. There are only three minutes left and these war zones will be changed to safe zones. So it'll be a lot easier for anyone to come up here with keys because there won't be PvP allowed. <laughs> oh, Strange Martin is up here. Ikaramu died, oh my gosh. Now the question is, does he have the keys to finish it? Dang, Puzzle King fell from a high place and it looks like Strange Martin is the first winner. Lazy Goblin, a latecomer to the event, killed a couple people to get some good items. He got some keys, and uh, he's actually vying for the last uh, or the third spot right now, trying to fight an invisible guy to get to the top. It looks like Fatty Snipes is number two. Oh, and I see a nameplate coming up the ladder behind him. Who is that? That's Lazy Goblin. Oh, Lazy Goblin's coming in. Oh, we have our third. Lazy Goblin's winner number three. Now there's only one spot left, and it looks like Prodigy is fighting an invisible guy or two. The invisible guy made it to the top. Oh, is he gonna make this last final parkour jump? Yep, he made it, and he's going up the ladder. He's gonna make it to the end platform, but who is he? Oh, it's Stefan! All right, so we got some good items for these guys. They, uh, none of these are being given away. That's just extra stuff. Um, they get a, an impossible spade. It's pretty cool. They get one set of protection armor. They get a commemorative axe, a commemorative sword, and named blocks. <laughs> Sandal, Sword, Tooth, one for each of the admins. Sandal, Ronnie, 
and Murdoch's Eshour. and Eshour. And finally two protection boots. Alright, so let's uh, let's give them all their prizes. <laughs> we'll just have them stand on their box and we'll break it underneath them. They'll absorb it all. Unfortunately, Stefan's not here. We'll have to give him his stuff later, but... Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed this event. Check out the rest of my channel for PvP videos, raiding, and factions tutorials. This is Ronnie Goboom, and I'll see you next time on Factions. Remember, this is just a highlight video. If you want to see the whole thing, click here to see a full 40-minute video of the entire event and all the PvP and action that happened in it.